risk exists for the patient to be addicted to such procedure? There is no real, yes, there is always a risk to be addicted. Some patients are always excessive in everything. I think it's also for the doctor to say no. Once a year, twice a year maximum, it's enough. There is no need for more. If you do every two months, you won't get more results. It will be maybe more financially interesting for the doctor, but there is no health interest for the patient. So I don't do it more than twice a year maximum. Addiction is, how do you say that? We all try to look the best for the longest time. We all try to defeat the aging process. Nobody likes to age, especially now because we live longer, because life is harder, because there is more competition on the workplace, because people need to look active and dynamic and young all the time to keep their job or to find a new job, because there is a lot of competition between younger women and not so young women and that everybody wants to look at the best. So there is a kind of an addiction in the aesthetic medicine, not only in the Dracula process, but on everything. The other factor also is it's more and more minimally invasive procedures that give best results. The facelift as it was done before with total frozen faces is something of the past. More and more people are evolving into minimally invasive and more natural procedures. Dracula is totally in that line. Minimally invasive, natural, and giving the living results. The way we, the way we inject Botox now is different from what it was injected two, three years ago. The way we use fillers now is different from when it was two years ago. The products are different, the needles are different, the device are different. All that evolved in better techniques. Give you just an example. Ten years ago, Botox was for the front line and maybe for the forehead. After that, it was here, here, around the eyes. Fine. Now we can use Botox also to raise a little the tip of the nose when it's going down, to close the nostrils, to stop the lip to go too high, showing too much, too much of the gum. People with a square face and people who are very tense at night, kind of really working the teeth, if you inject it here, you, read down, you can regrow normal, oval, and it's not Mm -hmm. tighten anymore. There is a lot of new indications that was not, they were not known a few years ago. Even doing Botox in the calves now for women who are complaining that they're too big calves. So a lot of things that were not done a few years ago are done now. That's for Botox. Fillers, big nasal labial line before it was just injecting here. Now we realize that if you add some more volume on the cheekbones, Mm -hmm. The line disappear. What's the point of having that if you can recreate the youth look at the same time and making it disappear? So the product change, the technique change, the needle device changes. All that minimally and instant result. And cheaper than facelift. Fat. Before it was liposuction. Then it was laser liposuction. After that it was ultrasound liposuction, all that expensive, downtime, bandages, no workout after that for a certain time, bruising, okay, delivering results, but at a certain cost. Now we have external devices combining ultrasound, radio frequency, magnetic wave, infrared, all at the same time, non-invasive, no needle, no pain, no bruising, no bandages, no downtime, and straight back to the gym to work out. As I said before, uh, nose job. Just giving you an example of all 
how fast the whole system is evolving. No, before it was only for surgery. Now you can, not everything, but you can improve a nose in 10 minutes without surgery. I say, a little Botox here would help to raise the tip. Little Botox on the side would help to close the nostril to make it thinner. Little filler, both sides of the bump in the middle, will make it straight. People walk out 10 minutes later with a new nose. Without bandages, without bruising, without downtime. So that's the future. Less and less invasive. Very light techniques that can be done within half an hour and people walking out looking better without having to hide for a long time.